how important this election is likely to be. What about you? How do you react to that? Oh, yes, certainly. Uh, this is the most important election um, for the people of Zimbabwe because um, it's taken this long um, to bring about change uh, that people would like to see. The country has uh, fallen into a great abyss from the glory days to where it is today, where it's become really a laughing stock. And people now do want to see uh, a country that can move back to where they can regain their pride. Mm -hmm. uh, Zimbabweans are scattered all over the world, not by choice, but because of escaping political persecution as well as economic persecution. Um, I can tell you uh, for a fact that uh, most Zimbabweans are not even proud to um, announce themselves as Zimbabweans in public because of the shame. Why not? Because of the shame that's associated with how their beloved country that was once uh, the breadbasket of Africa has turned out to be. Uh, and their failure really uh, to, to change the system. I mean, we have an 89 year old man who is long past his retirement age. And surely does that mean that we don't have other capable Zimbabweans who can move the country forward? That's the question that the people are asking themselves. And with that, they feel shame that uh, they can't come up with a credible candidate to take the country forward. But then surely there must be significant differences between a country and the government of the day. Because the last time I checked, uh, uh, there is a great American author and icon, Mark Twain, who once said, uh, patriotism is about supporting your country all the time and supporting your government when it deserves it. Don't you see fundamental differences here? You should be proud of Zimbabwe, the key no word, matter what. The key word is if the government deserves it. Yeah, the well, current the Zimbabwean between... government does not deserve does not deserve any support from anyone, hence the need for a change. Now, wait a minute. When you say the current government, don't we really have some semantical problems here? Because, again, mm -hmm. the last time I checked, you do have ZANU-PF, obviously, led by President Robert Gabriel Mugabe. But guess what? He works with, he works with Morgan Changirai of the MDC. Isn't this, are these not two parties, don't these two parties, including the other smaller party, which actually form what we call a government as we speak today? This is a forced marriage. It was a marriage of convenience. There is no joy in that government. As, as uh, my colleague alluded here, it's been dysfunctional for but four a, years. But a marriage nonetheless, really, uh, if in fact there are some accomplishments, I'm sure you'll be very glad to take some credit. But I also hope mm -hmm. that uh, if there are some problems, you should also be, you know, whatever the circumstances, you should also be willing to share into some of those problems. Well, of course, but uh, if you don't control, if you don't have the power uh, to, to make change, to bring about the institutions that would like to see, that would bring about change in Zimbabwe, really you are just in there for the convenience of your partner and not necessarily for the convenience of the marriage. But you endorse the constitution. Yes, the new constitution, uh, I must say, is, is a uh, well-written document that represents the views of the people because it, they went out, uh, they had constitution outreaches where they went out to the people and asked what the people wanted to see in their new constitution. I must say that uh, it's not everything that the people wanted that's in that constitution, but nonetheless, a half a loaf is better than nothing. 